differently abled differently welcome back and you are definitely watching abled differently november is epilepsy awareness month the national epilepsy coordination committee marked this day on the 19th of november by launching a documentary dubbed dare to be let's see how it went on the 19th of november the national epilepsy coordination committee with their respective partners launched a documentary dubbed dare to be at the moven peak hotel in westlands angaza kifafa which reached out to many patients through their campaign across the country created a positive impact with beneficiaries telling of initial hopeless stories to stories of hope and gratitude we've basically worked so hard as a national as the national coordinating committee to ensure that we implement the awareness program of Angaza Kifafa very effectively and making sure that we reach as many counties as possible so we have been able to reach around 18 counties so far and we are still going to reach the 47 counties in Kenya to make sure that we we we, we create awareness Uh, about epilepsy just telling people that epilepsy is a treatable medical condition it's um and just to talk about the stigma associated with epilepsy because we understand and we know that epilepsy is one of the most disabling and most stigmatized condition Frederick Beuchi an epilepsy awareness activist is hopeful that very soon as a result of their campaigns public hospitals will boast of personnel who are aware of issues of epilepsy Today we are particular very grateful because uh we launched the documentary uh, Angaza Kifafa uh, which we have dubbed it Dare to be and it's a culmination of you know the campaign activities that we've been doing over the last five years so we were just trying to look at the impact that this campaign has had so far and it will basically inform us of the things that we are needed to do next year and years to come plans to continue with the dissemination of information to many more areas are underway as beuchi explained the most important thing is the people that have been featured in the documentary these were patients when you listen to the story that they were giving before they got connected to doctors uh, through the angaza kifafa campaign honestly there was no hope of seeing their condition being managed but through the angaza kifafa campaign we have connected these patients to doctors and they have been treated and now they have a positive story to tell and that's all about what angaza kifafa campaign is we want to reach out to people with not only information but to also make sure that we have built the capacity of medical workers or medical uh, practitioners at the county level so that anyone who has uh, you know the condition they can comfortably go to a hospital any hospital we don't specify or pinpoint hospital and say go to this one or go to that one no we want everybody to feel comfortable they can go to any public hospital they can meet a doctor who is well informed they can be diagnosed they can be put on medication and that condition can be controlled and dr edi chengo the vice chair of the national epilepsy coordination committee says that people with epilepsy can and should live normal lives since there are varied treatment options to help them achieve a lot in life according to the doctor epilepsy is a manageable and treatable condition which can be acquired even in adulthood epilepsy is a brain condition and what happens in epilepsy is Uh, there is miscommunication in the brain because of a uh, nervous problem or the nerve has a problem as a result of injury or some uh, inborn um, problems and what happens is uh, that person can have a convulsive uh, 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 movement or they can shake um, you know their hands and their legs they can bite their tongue they, they can sometimes wet themselves or soil themselves or they it can present with um uh, with abnormal behavior 
or it can present with abnormal sensation and feeling. So quite varied, so many symptoms. Over 40 types of epilepsy with hundreds of symptoms and over 30 syndromes of epilepsy. So it, it requires a lot of um, knowledge to be able to understand uh, um, and differentiate a simple symptom of a blank stare uh, in epilepsy uh, or maybe different types of epilepsy and whether that is just an absentism or rather an absent-minded uh, person. Dr. Chengo attested to the fact that there has been a positive impact from the awareness creation considering the turnout of the day. I think people are becoming interested in epilepsy day by day. When we started, it was just a handful of people who were interested. But now most people from different sectors um, have interest in epilepsy. They, they want to participate from social media groups, community health volunteers, uh, photographers, everybody wants to participate and that's good because we need everybody to participate in epilepsy. You, you can talk something about epilepsy. The, the, not everybody can talk something about epilepsy. That's what I believe. Not just doctors. So, and, and, and it's good that uh, people are coming out. There's a lot of attention, you know. Now. So, but, but we need to do more. You can imagine reaching out 54 million people in Kenya about epilepsy with the right information and making sure that um, the hospitals are well equipped with machines or investigative uh, instruments and the doctors are well equipped, you know, that requires some work. So we need sponsors, uh, we need well-wishers, we need pharmaceutical companies, we need the government itself. Sam Kiwinda has lived with epilepsy all his life and doesn't shy away from talking about it whenever an opportunity arises. He, however, is selective with whom he shares the information with due to the stigma associated with it. A long time I was afraid that she might also become, uh, uh, be living with epilepsy. But then I've come to that uh, realization that even if she does, she needs to, I will give her the best tools that I can as her father to help her maneuver her life the best way that she can. We like to protect our children from everything but we can't. Some things they just need to go through. So I'm not afraid if two years from now she gets diagnosed with epilepsy I know she will She has a good, good enough foundation to be able to live the right way. Kiwinda was the DJ at the event and unlike the rest of the participants, he received the most cherishable gift from his daughter, who he barely suspected was in the audience. With the documentary dubbed Dare to Be, Mr. Kiwinda has dared to be and shared his experiences when he put himself to the test. For a number of years, Ramsey has been a professional photographer, despite the fact that his profession contributes to some of his triggers. Ramsey never thought being different would make him stand out, but on this day, he felt honored in so many ways at the unveiling of the Dare to Be documentary. Dr. Chengo noted the difference in the turnout now as compared to some time back, something he feels is a great milestone and hopes to see more people coming on board and even welcome the president to join in. We're differently abled, differently. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Article 25 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities states that state parties shall, Part B, provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities, specifically because of their disabilities, including early identification and intervention as appropriate and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities, including among children and older persons. I'm afraid that's where we end the show for today. But be sure to join us next Sunday when time and space allows. I've been your host, Jim Theruri. Goodbye. We are here 
and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently abled Differently